Hello, welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a voiceover for an unboxing I did quite a while ago. So you may have seen in the background of my videos, I have a very interesting looking mystery box from Call of Duty. And today I'm going to be walking you through my unboxing process. I have to say I really enjoyed this. It is probably one of my favorite collectibles I now own. And it's really annoying that my audio for this did not record properly. But either way, I'm going to walk you through what it was like for me to unbox this sort of fantasy item something i've wanted for so long and was able to purchase because i found it on ebay for such a good price i paid 50 pounds for this and it was with all the collectibles so here you have me peeling it off and getting my first glimpse of the artwork i have to say this is when it started to become real because i could actually see that throwback image from when the artwork was first being released for black ops 4 and there it is the mystery box edition i was so excited still a little hesitant that i've been scammed because that is what the nature of ebay is sometimes but yeah I, I really have a strong connection to black ops 4 it was the game that i got first ever diamond snipers i grinded that out for 22 hours straight here's me trying to get the sheath off this box it was a bit difficult i have to say i was just trying to wriggle it and then i was like oh, okay I, i'll give up with that i'm just gonna go vertical and pull it off and then I had to catch it, otherwise it was just fall forward, I didn't really want that, I didn't know what was loose inside, but I did manage to catch it, put the other thing to a side, yeah there we go, and rock it down, look at that, look at Diego at the front there, the zombies, oh yes, it's absolutely incredible, the artwork, and then here's me showing what's actually included in the box, there's so much for this, it's unbelievable value for money really. So there uh, we go, uh, getting the clips undone, and I was super excited to get to see all my bits. I was like, okay, right, I'm going to leave the box for the last thing. Let's get everything, out, out, everything else out first. Here's the steel book. I've already got one of these, so I wasn't like surprised by this at all, but really nice. Uh, I obviously knew there wasn't a game in there. I've already got a game. I didn't need a game. Here's the poster. Not a massive fan of this poster. The artwork is like adequate, but it's all right. It's one of my favorite zombies map on this game actually nine was one of my favorites I really enjoyed nine um, but yeah not the best poster one I won't be hanging anytime soon and then I have a few other bits to fish out I have a I think that's the second ever zombies um, comic book and then we have some figures there and a few other bits so let's dive into those so here's the comic book I will not be opening this because I want to keep that in pristine condition uh, it's not really my thing anyway comic books so I think that'd be cool to keep for just the future and inside here I really like this I already know what's inside this because I actually own this already from the hardened edition but it's still really cool they are basically individually made embroidered patches from the different specialists in game it's really really cool I think it's just such a cool touch to have and uh, really nice individuality so package that back up I've already got one of those so I think I might give that away. Who knows what I'll do with that? I may just keep it as a like part of the collection. Just a uh, I don't know what that was. Some waiver probably saying I might die if I get stuck in the bag. Who knows? Here are the pop figures. I just could not get the lighting right here. It really annoyed me, but oversaturating my lighting source there. Um, but yeah, they're basically little metal cutouts. Uh, they're they're all right. They're not anything special. And then here you have a pop socket. I don't know why Black Ops 4 decided they wanted a pop socket with their most prestigious package. Who knows why, but either way, I'm opening this up and then I see, oh, there's a little lanyard here. I quite like lanyards, but I normally will try and collect the ones that I have an association with. You know, I have a reason, you know, if I went to an event or something. But it's cool anyway, it's just, it's not massively good quality, it's just very cheaply done, but it's nice just to have as part of the collection. So. Here I am removing the foam that's holding the mystery box in place. It's quite a thick, substantial foam, and I actually do keep that because I want to keep the box in good condition if I ever was to sell it on. So here I am trying to work out how the hell do I get this thing out. Can I just pull it up and and then like, um, you know what, I'm actually going to just pull on the plastic. So I get a good look around and then decide, okay, yeah, this is not coming out just easily. So let's just get the plastic from all angles and just pull that vertically up. And that's what I did. Here I go, um, bit unsure of myself right now, I was like, do I make the wrong decision? But no, I didn't. And there we go, it's all cleanly out, nice and safely out. I no worries about scratching it or bumping it. I do not want that on my brand new mystery box. So now that's one side, I'm gonna then put the foam back in because I wanna have the box hold its original shape. I don't want it caving in from any knocks and bumps it may incur over the next few years. And I also go and put everything else 
back inside just for now just to put it out of the way actually i currently do have all that other stuff inside the mystery box i didn't really think of that when i first did this um video uh, video unboxing it i then had a bit of fun trying to work out how to dance these catches back into their place and there we go but that box is cool isn't it i mean uh, he's it's just amazing. I love these like Call of Duty special editions. I've always loved it. I've actually got quite a substantial collection. Let me know if you want to see a full video going through my entire collection because it is quite vast, I have to say. So here I am looking at the box now, trying to get it ready to show to the camera, pulling it back into focus and trying to gently untangle it from the plastic wrap. So just pulling it away, each corner one by one, making sure to get each head and each arm out that little head there was a bit of a struggle. There we go. And I'm ready to then pull it open. There we look at that. And it actually, the lid did slip off when I was just about to put this down. So I was like, oh, please don't be damaged. Please don't be damaged. And it was absolutely fine. So no, no issue there whatsoever. I was stunned at how detailed this was. I mean, it's just absolutely packed with detail. I was just looking at those little pressure points. That's actually for when you remove the lid and it will glow and make sound effects to show that you've removed the lid and it adds a really cool atmosphere so I removed the inner plastic so I was able to put the stuff back into it afterwards and I have to say it is absolutely gorgeous this actually was first featured on the map Voyage of Despair on Black Ops 4 on launch a uh, pretty damn awful map if I do say so but an incredible mystery box design. Here I am just finding the switch to turn it on, and I'm going to let me lift it up, and oh my god, that noise is harrowing, absolutely terrifying. Uh, there is actually a setting to turn the sound off and just have the lights, which is what I have it on, and here's some close-ups. It's absolutely incredible. In my opinion, this is the most like detailed, most creative mystery box there's ever been in Call of Duty Zombies. I think this is absolutely incredible, stunning to look at, terrifying and stunning at the same time. Look at the detail, I mean it's absolutely impressive as all hell, I mean it's so weathered and it looks like it's been forged straight out of bones, there's just nothing holding it together, just flesh and bones in this terribly disturbing image. And then when you remove the lid at night, you can see it glows blue, all around the rim, all those eyes on the side. And look at the eyes there, absolutely incredible. I think this is definitely a good purchase. I've really enjoyed having it in the background of my videos. Maybe you've noticed it, maybe you haven't. Maybe you'll notice it now that I've pointed it out. I've absolutely loved making this commentary video. Let me know if you want to see more of my Call of Duty collection. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Goodbye.